Hey, it's Hal from Light. I'm here working an image inside of Lightroom, and I thought I'd share with you my local adjustments on this image. At this point, I have finished all of the global adjustments. That is, things that affect every single part of the image are complete. To show you where that is, I'm going to go down and look at before and after, with before on the left, and after over here on the right. I definitely like where this image has gone, but I don't think it's finished yet. Looking real quick, I see two things that jump out at me that I, that I need to take care of. The first of those is that the upper body is a little bit darker than the lower, and everything looks out of balance. Because I want the viewer's eye coming up here to the model's face, not right down here to the calves. The second thing I'm noticing is that the lower half of the body is a much cooler temperature than what we have up here. So I'm seeing a little bit warmer in terms of some more orange or yellow, and not nearly as much down here on the legs. To fix these, I'm going to grab the adjustment brush. Now I'll go through, and I'm not going to talk through the entire workflow that I use, but I'll, I'll give you the, the quick steps. First, grab the brush itself. After that, make sure you have a new mask. Effect drop-down, program your brush with the desired effect. That'll set one effect to its last used position or to the default, and it zeroes out everything else. Your next workflow step is to make an initial guess at what that adjustment should be, and then come down here and configure your brush. Doesn't matter if you go brush A or B, but starting with size, I'll usually move the brush over the area I'm looking to adjust, and then use the right and left bracket keys to size appropriately. I like to have my feather at least 80, but for this application I'll leave it up at 100. Soft and subtle is the best way, I think, to make adjustments. For flow and density, I like leaving those up at 100 for most cases. Every now and again I'll bring the flow down, but density for me, always, always up at 100. Auto mask, I'm going to leave that off because I don't want to be totally precise here. I just want to be soft and subtle. Coming to the upper body, I'm going to hit the O key, which turns on the overlay. That way, when I begin to paint with my brush, I can see by default the red overlay showing me the mask, those places that are going to be affected by my 0.49 on the positive side exposure adjustment. Now I'll continue going through here and just painting around that upper body a little bit. I'm not going to get crazy with it. I'm not going to be trying to be completely precise. If I make a mistake for whatever reason, absolutely no worries. Come over, grab your eraser, and then just come up and erase whatever you don't want. So when I get close, I'll do a little bit more here. I'll turn the overlay off and then make an assessment. Say, okay, does that amount work? I think it's just a little bit much. So I'm going to come back up and I'll start to fine tune. Instead of 0.49, I'm going to make it about 0.4. And then I have this little transition here right down the arm. This is a place where I would come in and I'll reduce my flow. I'll bring it down to about 75. And then I'll go in and paint that so it's nice, soft, subtle transition. Same thing on that far arm. Giving myself a little before and after, turning the adjustment on and off. I like where that is a lot more. So there is the first adjustment up here to the upper body. To take care of the legs that look a little bit bluish to me, I'm going to launch another adjustment brush. So I'm already in the brush, a new mask, drop down slider. This time it's going to be temp. Now this is something new inside of Lightroom 4 as well as a new Adobe Camera Raw engine. That is I can use local adjustments to change the white balance. Notice when I selected temp that my temperature slider went to the last use position, about 25, adding a little bit of warmth, and zeroed everything else out. Just like before, we'll come in, configure the brush, Turn on the overlay for me, and I'm going to paint in on those legs. Not being completely precise. I don't really need to be. In most cases, if you're going to be precise, you have to be perfectly precise. Otherwise, people are going to know you've done a little something to your image. And the idea is that if you do anything, make it soft and subtle, and nobody will even know. Now, if you have to, you can always zoom in. I'm going to hold down the shift, uh, space bar and click in. I could also do that with the, the Z key. I like using the space bar. Zoom right back out. Turn off my overlay. I've just added that hint of warmth. 
off and on, give myself a before and after. I think I now have a lot more balanced exposure where the upper body matches the lower body. And I've warmed it up down here such that it matches the color temperature of the upper body. Now, if you need to, at any point, you can go in. Remember, this is all procedural and not destructive. You can grab that temperature slider and maybe warm it up a bit more. That's not working. You could cool it down if you wanted to go to the nice vampire look. But I kind of like where I was initially. I'll keep it right at 25. Need to go in and modify that other adjustment. Click onto the control pin. And we can go in and modify that exposure as necessary until you get the exact result that you're looking for. So taking a look at the before and after with our adjustment brush, nothing, a little something. Finish up with that and now give a before and after overall. I think the image looks a lot better than where I started and it's considerably more balanced now that I've done my local adjustments. Whether you're using Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw, local adjustments should be your friend. Once you get done with the big picture stuff, remember to go smaller and smaller as you need to to make the image exactly what you want.